In this video, we're going to look at some basic Pro Tools editing techniques that you should be familiar with before moving on to the next section of the course. The first is creating new tracks. After you've created a session, the next thing you're probably going to need to do is make new tracks. You can do this with the New Tracks dialog box, which can be opened a couple of ways. The first is to go to Track New, but a better option is to use the key combination Command Shift N on the Mac or Control Shift N on Windows. Once the dialog box is open, you can choose the number of new tracks, the channel width, and you can see mono stereo as well as surround formats on my system, but on some systems you may only see mono and stereo. Then you can see the track type, and set the time base in samples or ticks. If you want to add more tracks in a different format, you can click the Add Row button, which is this plus sign on the right-hand side of the dialog, and then a new row will appear. Once you've configured all of the tracks, click the Create button and Pro Tools will make them for you. When working with Pro Tools, it's important to understand the difference between whole file clips and subset clips. A whole file clip represents a complete audio file on the hard drive. These could be files that you recorded in the current session, or files that you imported from your sound effects library or from another session. You can recognize whole file clips in the clip list because they're displayed in bold type. A whole file clip corresponds to an actual audio file on your hard drive, as we can see here. On the other hand, subset clips, sometimes referred to as simply clips, represent edits that you've made to the whole file clips. These are represented by the non-bold files in the clip list. They actually point back to the original whole file clip, sometimes called the parent file. These clips only exist in the Pro Tools session file and not as separate audio files on your hard drive. Here's an example. If I grab this DIA Player 01 whole file clip and I drag it onto a track, and then I make some separations in the clip, You can see here in the clip list that six new subset clips are automatically generated. It's easy to see why a typical session has many more subset clips than whole file clips. Zoom Toggle is another function in Pro Tools that is quite useful for editing. Zoom Toggle allows you to select a clip on the timeline and then zoom it both horizontally and vertically with a single command. If you have key commands focus enabled in the edit window, you can simply press the E key on your keyboard to activate and deactivate Zoom Toggle. You can set the Zoom Toggle preferences by going to the Editing tab of the Pro Tools Preferences. Standard tab functionality in Pro Tools moves the cursor between clip boundaries. As you can see here when I press Tab, it goes to the Clip Start, the Clip End, then the next Clip Start and Clip End, and so on. However, when tab to transients mode is enabled, the tab functionality is changed. The tab key still moves between clip boundaries, but will also stop on transients that it sees in the waveform. In addition to pressing the tab to transients button in the toolbar, you can also enable tab to transients by pressing option command tab on the Mac or control alt tab on Windows. The Consolidate command is another useful command for game audio work. Consolidate allows you to convert a selection into a new whole file clip on your hard drive. This selection can include whole file clips, subclips, fades, crossfades, and even silence. This can be very useful in the game audio workflow because it prepares the clip to be exported using the Export Clips as Files command. If you have a clip that includes fades or silence, the Export Clips as Files command will not include them in the resulting file. To use the consolidate command, simply select the range of data that you want to consolidate, and then either choose Edit, Consolidate Clip, or use the key combination Option Shift 3 on the Mac or Alt Shift 3 on Windows. You can look in the clip list to verify that the newly consolidated clip is in fact a new whole file clip. 